Okay, Aaron. So here's all the letters. And what I did is I took that um, happy, the Janda Happy Days font because it seems to be one that we use all the time. And um, I have it in a few different sizes and I have all the letters just kind of out like this. And um, so the ones, oopsie, I'm going to scroll back up. The ones in pink are the ones that I have adjusted everything. Notice it's the, well, that E is done too. I know that. But anyway, um, and what did you write? Mommies. So I have the M-O-M-M-Y-S little L-I-T-T-L-E. So E is next. So I'm going to zoom all the way in on the E. See, here E. Go back. There. Okay, so your E looks like this. What I did is when you click on it, you can click on so and then uh, convert to stitches. And it makes everything, each letter that you put in individually as a letter. Okay, so this right here, these little things, I'm just holding my mouse button and going over them. That's the knot, the beginning knot. And you just get used to finding them. Okay, so each one of these little things is that I'm making a little blacky dot thing is um, going to be where the needle goes in. So you can see everywhere where the needle goes in. And you see how, like, right here, that's a whole lot of stitches going in. More than likely, it's going to make a lump and a hole eventually. So I'm just making more because what this is going to do, so it's going to start here, and then it'll, wherever I'm going with it, and um, it'll start stitching the straight stitch first so it, like, tacks your fabric down to your um, um, shirt or whatever it is. And um, then the satin stitch will, will go over it. And I go like this through all of them. And this is possibly overboard, but normally most programs have the underlay option, and Stupid Brother 6 does not. So um, basically I'm just oopsie, making a, my own little underlay idea of it. So for those people who do not use Sticky Stabilizer, it won't be an absolute disaster. Um... And I'm going back because most letters will like end right here, and it's just nicer if it just jumps right to over at the bottom of it. Okay, so then I look at the letter, and I'm going to zoom in on, oh, that's as far as zoomy as it gets. Okay, a little closer. So then I'm just going to click on it, and I can use my arrow keys to move each one of these stitches just to spread them out a little bit. I can do it also if I, let's see, click on it like that. Um, if I highlight a bunch of them, you can move a bunch. And if you hold, oh, which I'm realizing I can't hold the phone and do, oh, pooey. Um, okay, it's not function. <laughs> yeah, I always forget that. You see, it's control. If you control, hold control and use your arrow key, then it will um, move the like to the next stitch over, so you can advance through it. Um, so yeah, wow, huh? 